Hello YouTube, trains have existed from the early times and have served us well over the years. Besides being the safest modes of transport, trains have become part and parcel as our daily carriage means when going about our businesses. The global technological transition has forced most countries to upgrade their railway lines and trains to become better, faster, and even more convenient. Some have, however, fallen behind, remaining in the dark. Today, we'll take a look at some of the most dangerous railway tracks in the world. If you've never heard or experienced the train to heaven, stick around for that and much more. Number 10. Qinghai Tibet Railway Commonly known as the Railway to Heaven, there's certainly no wonder why this railway has earned itself that name. You would probably think it's due to the beautiful scenery that would awe you as you journey to Tibet. But I'm 100% sure that this name comes from how close to God you'll be when you cruise with it. It's a treacherous beauty that's earned its name as the world's highest train route as it nears an altitude of 5,000 kilometers. This train is so dangerous that you have to sign a waiver before boarding. The waiver suggests that you're aware of the risks present in boarding it. To top that off, no train that travels this route ever leaves without a professional doctor on board. Just in case things go haywire on the journey, the doctor will be to help those in need. Did I mention that they also have gas masks fitted on every seat? If you're still willing to put yourself through such danger, then go right ahead, and you'll have some spectacular pictures to show off to your friends. However, you might want to pray so hard that you don't add to the statistics of casualties who have lost their lives aboard this danger train. I bet you've never seen anything more transport-oriented than this next feature. Different trains pass through a marketplace with full-capacity vendors and buyers. Number 9. Make Long Train Thailand I already didn't think this list could get any crazier, but it did. In Thailand, you're sure to be amazed by the flavorful culture of the Thai people, from food and drinks to lifestyle and dance. However, if you wish to be more fascinated, be sure to visit the Meklong Marketplace. It's in this market only that you can find a bunch of trains passing between a busy market. Every vendor is required to have a sharp set of ears, so they can fold up their tents to give way to the train. If you look at the video, you'd think that the train damaged the goods being sold. Alas, once the train is crossed, the tents are pulled back into position, and it's business as usual for the vendors and buyers. I don't know how someone's comfortable standing only inches away from a moving train, as if this isn't like playing a nasty game with fate. Thai people seem to have a good handle on this erect fold technique. They do it up to eight times a day. Also, despite the visible danger, there hasn't been any record of fatalities on this railway. Number 8. Brucio Spiral Viaduct Italy is known for its pasta, bread, and a pretty long list of favorite delicious recipes used worldwide. However, nobody thought it would be known to host one of the most dangerous railway tracks. This track is none other than the Brusio Spiral Viaduct, which lies amid Brusio, Switzerland. Initially, the government didn't have plans to build any railway of any sort in that area, but due to the need for trade, they were required to build a railway that was suitable for both passengers and cargo. A bunch of insane engineers came up with the idea that the rail track should follow the natural terrain. What followed was the setup of a stoned railway track that wandered down a valley. If you travel across this rail, be sure that you know that it's almost forming a perfect circle. The train screeches so loudly you could break an eardrum, probably. I think the only good side to this insane engineering is that the train can slide off as it makes those corners. You'd think that having one in sale railway is more than enough for a country, but certainly not Switzerland, which has more than one impossible railway track. Stay tuned to see a train climbing a mountain. Number 7. Pilatus Railway in Switzerland They say science is madness, and I agree with this because only a madman can come up with this type of invention. And on this feature, our madman is none other than engineer Edward Loescher who came up with the smart idea to build a railway that climbs over the Pilatus Mountain. The train's supposed to run along the extreme edge of the mountain, and it was supposed to steep upwards to reduce the distance and time it would take to travel up and down. You'll have your heart in your hand taking this off your bucket list, because you can't see the bottom of the mountain the higher you go up. 
giving you a very vivid imagination playing in your mind of how far you'll topple if the train falls over. Number 6. Napier Gisborne Railway If you took time to enjoy the scenery at Gisborne Airport any time before 6.30, you'd be fooled to think that it's a normal airport where planes take off and land. As the morning grows brighter, the wanting tale of this unusual airport unveils. Between the hours of 6.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., it's not uncommon to see trains hitting their brakes to give way to planes. Yes, you heard that right. This piece of land is supposed to be an airport where railway tracks also cross. I kid you not, if it wasn't for the tireless effort from air communication and rail communication, you'd have heard this railway all over the news due to some tragic accidents. I can't imagine the horror in seeing a train crossing the same path we're supposed to land on. Number 5. Train to the Clouds Imagine taking a trip to South America where you get the chance to ride the legendary train to the clouds. You look out the window and you get to experience the breathtaking view of the Andes landscape, only for you to realize that you're more than 13,000 feet above ground and you can't help but start feeling nauseated. You let all your lunch fly out the window, realizing that you've ruined your greatest attempt at creating memories. These are the exact feelings many people come back to reiterate with after one single ride on this train. This train's more about praying for one's dear life instead of taking beautiful photos. Number 4. Karanda Scenic Railway If you aren't afraid of heights and enjoy an adventure through Mother Nature, then Karanda Scenic Railway is the place to be. Built in the early 90s, this fascinating railway track has maintained a unique prehistoric scenery when there weren't any roads to speed through. The idea of boarding a train through a natural game reserve sounds fun, until the train malfunctions in the middle of the ravishing green rainforest. Besides, what could go wrong while cruising next to a high cliff and a thick bush? I wonder how they were able to construct such a railway route deep in the forest anyway. Well, until anything goes wrong, you can enjoy the 32-kilometer journey experience on the Kuranda Scenic Railway. So, until today, upside-down trains were a fantasy to me. Do you have any clue about the Shonen monorail? Stay tuned as we discover the wonders behind advanced technology. Number 3. The Shonen Monorail The Shonen Monorail is a one-of-a-kind suspension railway, one that you'll find thrilling to ride if you enjoy roller coasters. It's the fastest way to ride to Inoshima and can take you only 14 minutes. The trail runs along the rails in an upside-down manner and makes up to several pit stops along its journey. The biggest question is, how do you think the people on this train feel? And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future videos. Number 2. Ramaswaram Route One of the most sacred Hindu sites is tucked away on an island away from the peninsula. Since Ramaswaram is considered sacred, people journey every year over the soaring waters. For years, traveling here had been a bit hectic, as using boats and ferries seemed a little bit risky prompting the locals to devise a better route that will allow fluid movement without worry. They decided on constructing a bridge that would link the island to the mainland. The Ramaswaram Bridge is no ordinary bridge since a railway track spreads over it. Despite making it easy to access the island, taking a train during a storm might give you the worst experience ever since the train feels like a crawling insect wobbling on the water. Would you dare endure such an experience? Let us know in the comments down below. And number 1. Aso Manami Route Some have termed it the most audacious railway line. What else would you call a railway line that's built so close to an active volcano? It's built incredibly close to Aso Mountain, which is Japan's largest active volcano. Now, where do we begin with this one? How was it even built? The backstory to its creation is mysterious and one can assume it's due to numerous fatalities. Today, though, passengers of the Aso Minami still have horror stories to tell. One passenger claimed to have seen smoke and sparks of fire in the adjacent forest. If that doesn't raise your goosebumps, how about the story of where there was once a miniature eruption? 
one that was visible through the passengers' windows. Lucky for this group of passengers, the blast happened only after they had almost entirely passed the mountain. You can imagine the tragic tale that would be plastered all over the news if things went south on that day.